That song was just wonderful. Just Thank so you. wonderful. That was so beautiful. Thank, Thank you so, so much. Thank you. You know, that song just really, it just really touches my heart. And yeah. as you sing, I can just sense the Holy Spirit just really flowing out of you, just really touching the hearts of people. It touched my heart. I had tears in my eyes because of that. And he did too. And not only us, but we could look around and we could see here yeah. in the studio yeah. that a lot of people were crying because it just really touched their hearts. Um, it's a great pleasure to have with us today Juita Suito. And the song you just heard called You and Me and In Me. Yeah. And you wrote this song. Yes, I did. And this is on her album. It's called Brand New World brand new world now uh get this album this is a tremendous album to get you will find on the screen now is her website so just contact her website and oh this is just a tremendous tremendous uh album i've heard a few songs from it and it just really really touches your heart yeah. you know this particular album here it was nominated as the best new english you were, you were nominated the Best New English Artist. Yeah. Best Local English Album, this particular album. Yeah. Best Vocal Performance in an Album, yeah. female, female. And Best Engineered Album. And this is from the um, Malaysian Music Industry that's Awards. Right. That's right. And that's tremendous. And also, <laughs> praise God forevermore, I look here, Breathe Again. That's in Mandarin, was done in Taiwan by Warner Music Company. It's in English, actually. It's in English. Yeah, it was featured in the in the Mandarin uh, TV series. In a Mandarin TV right. series. Yeah. And this is just a tremendous album. Be sure to get this particular album. Yes. You know, it's a great pleasure having you on here. I understand that your nickname is PK. Why do they call, <laughs> you, why do they call you PK? Okay. Um, well, they call me PK because I'm a preacher's kid. My dad was a Methodist minister. It's not really my nickname, but yeah, it's a generic name for all of us. For all of you who all are of us PKs, yeah. All the PKs. Now, you're in secular music. You sing secular yeah. music as well yeah. as uh, Christian music, right. gospel, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. How was that accepted? Um, Singing secular music, a preacher's <laughs> kid. Um, okay, firstly, I, I don't really see it as secular music because um, all the songs that I sing, I have to believe in them, and therefore they're, they're songs about relationships, songs about real life. And you write the majority about, of the songs? Um, well, half. half I started writing yeah. about two years ago. The song you sang, you wrote that? Yes, so. I wrote that song. Beautiful. Thank you. It wasn't all me. <laughs> but yeah, um, so in a way, I, I try and stay away from songs that that the lyrics I don't agree with. Yes. Um, so in that sense, I wouldn't call it totally secular. But we're in a commercial mm -hmm. market, and um, it's interesting because if you look at the album, um, it's not outright gospel. Mm -hmm. But I've been labeled as a pop gospel artist in Malaysia in, uh -huh. in the newspaper articles and stuff like that. So it's no, you mentioned lyrics. Yeah. How important are lyrics? To me? <laughs> well, see, sometimes people hear certain type of music, mm -hmm. and they say it's devil's music. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and in your opinion, yeah. what would be devil's music and just good music? Okay. Um, there are all sorts of people. Some people write songs directly after they've had Satan worship and stuff like that. Um, of course, not all songs are written that way. Um, but for me, the mm -hmm. lyrics play a very important role. I wouldn't sing a song that... Um, has a lot of violence in it or or just you know has the wrong message that mm -hmm. that I don't believe with mm -hmm. I don't believe in <laughs> yeah. um, but I think people need to be careful as to what they listen to because it's input you know garbage in garbage out that's right uh -huh. so, yeah there's a lot of songs a lot of angst in it a lot of anger a lot of hatred in certain you know, songs in, mm. yeah in a lot of songs nowadays mm -hmm. so that's why I've actually decided to come into the music business because we thought you know we want to make a change that's right and yeah you, you were just saying that some bands or some uh, you know musicians yeah. they actually worship Satan first before I've heard perform. of stories like that I've never met any but I've heard of stories 
It's the same. Some people have, you know, smoked some other kind of stuff before they <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we pray before we do our songs. So. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. How has the Lord helped you with music over the years? <laughs> um, in many ways. Um, when I first started writing songs, it was... I think it's all inspiration. I don't think I could have written the song that I just sang without inspiration from the Lord. Um, that's one. Um, and the other thing is that doors have been opening um, in his time. I've been in music for quite a long time. I started singing backing vocals when I was 19, fresh out of college. Mm -hmm. So it was between work, studies, and I think the Lord has brought me, um, you know, from one step to another. And this album, for example, is just another opening. So, well, everything I'm doing is, <laughs> he's got a hand to play with it, to play in it, yeah. Amen. How about the anointing with you? With you. The anointing, well, I pray that the anointing's, you know, now clear and evident. De you definitely have an anointing. Oh, definitely. I mean, Even the song you sing. It said. just comes, yeah. it touches the spirit, yeah. it touches the soul, it touches the body, it goes deep. And it comes yes. out of you. It does? Yes, yes. it does. And That's good to know. Do you, <laughs> do you wait on the anointing before you start writing songs? Um, sometimes yes, sometimes no. Um, that song was, I think, after spending some time with friends, then I was on, on the way back home on the bus. And I was just saying, you know, Lord, it, it's so amazing to have friends that you can share your life with and you come out feeling so edified. And so, yeah, you know, in that sense, the song is, mm -hmm. you know, after the time spent with the Lord. Um, there are other songs that I write after having a good swim, feel good factor. <laughs> you mean... Know. <laughs> God will give you a song while you're swimming? Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, sometimes people think, well, they have to be very quiet before they can hear God. Okay. But here you're swimming and, you know, having fun. Yeah, I think you can hear God all the time. Anytime, That's right. As long as you're open to it. That's right. Yeah. Amen. And you're open to the Lord. Yeah. Most of the time I try to be. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah. What is your advice to those, you know, sometimes people get into a, a dilemma. Yeah. They desire to to sing and serve God okay and they don't think that they're singing and serving God if they just sing songs with a positive message okay um, I think it depends on what your calling is um, of course if you just sing songs with a positive message sometimes it's it's no different from any people of any other faith um, mm -hmm. so you have to embody your faith in the way you live and ultimately people will know when they, when they see the anointing that's right um, when they see that their life is touched when they listen to the music and, and they're moved that's where the difference is so as a believer yeah the emphasis would be songs and music that are word-based pretty much pretty much word-based yeah uh, that are in line with the Word of God yes so even if it's a love song, even if it's about relationship, even if, you know, if it's about a time you're going through a rough time, basically it always comes back to the hope in God and yeah. the love of God, the peace of God. One thing that struck me with the song that you sang, yeah. time spending with God. Oh, that is just so precious. And, mm. you know, a lot of people don't realize that, that when they spend the time with God, they can have that joy, they can oh, have yeah. that peace. Yeah. And you have experienced that. I have. Yeah. yeah, it comes out when you sing. When you sing the song, it comes really out. Hallelujah. Yeah. I would like to experience more of that. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I yeah. believe the more you sing those songs that the Lord give you, and you sing it from your heart, because that's what you do. Yeah. The more anointing you're going to sense, and the more anointing the people are going to sense. Okay. Yeah. 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 Thank have you. you had rough times? I have. <laughs> um, so you want me to tell you the story, right? Yes. Go right ahead. <laughs> Um, okay, there was a time when I got a recording contract with, um, in a Taiwanese recording label. And it was, it was difficult at first because I didn't speak the language. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm Chinese, but I speak only English and Malay. <laughs> uh -huh. And so when I went there, it was really a step of faith. And I said, Lord, do you want me to do this or not? And he says, yeah, the same thing he said to Abraham, you know, mm -hmm. leave your family, your possession, 